Welcome, one and all, to Primordia. I'm your disembodied housemate, Morris Silverwing. And this is actually... I'm excited for this. I, I'm playing this because a uh, mate of mine has just been singing its praises constantly. And honestly, this is something that I've kind of, like, why I've been interested in streaming in, in general. It's also been a way of expanding my horizons and experiencing things that I haven't done before. So we're going to be looking at and experiencing a, it's a point and click from 2012, I want to say, 2012, 2014. Da, 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 da. 2012. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but, uh, Let's get into, let's get into it. Uh, pardon, you might have to bear with the uh, chat being filled. We're picking this up right after, Ker right after Kirby. So, yeah, you're gonna have to, please, so please understand. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this. Ooh. Okay. Well, yep, no, no getting on the point and click details, because this is a full stick using a full cursor. Also, we're back to stick, thank god. Kirby 64 using its own, using own D-pads. Uh, definitely not looking for commentary. Achievements are nice. Voice and text. Point of speed. Point of speed is definitely good. Definitely want audio and music. Oh, is that, that's really good. That's, that's actually on par with me. But yeah, let's, uh, let's experience this. exactly none of the parts you wanted. A whole day in the junk pile and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss, are you sure you got those settings right? That came from down in engineering. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's see, we've got the telescope. There's no time for that. Oh. I'm guessing there's no time for me to use it as well. There's no time for that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Crispin! Hello. No time for Crispin? There's no time for that. Oh. But. Hatch. These are different. Why are these interesting? But yeah. Down, down the hatch. Look at this. That's the way to engineering. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Maybe I, maybe I should be playing this at a smaller resolution. To be honest. Anyway, uh, engineering. 
I should probably be looking around, but on the other hand, I'm worried if I take too long, something might explode. the power core, boss. Stop right there. The ship belongs to me. Forfeit. Enemy. Wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Get away from the power core. Forfeit. Oh. Um. Okay. through the heart <laughs> was that a wolf I also saw oh no boss was I like thrown out boss Horatio come on Horatio wake up Horatio oh. and Kristen. Okay. Ooh, you're okay. What happened? Well, Big Ugly threw you out of the ship. And then he said plunder again. And then he left with our power core. Facade. Yep. How much charge have you got? 10%. You? I'll be fine. We just need to get the emergency generator up and running. Or we could just go to Metropole, City of Glass and Light. Free energy for one and all. Don't believe everything you hear. Metropole is trouble. But if you want to go, you've got free will and a maglev unit. With that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <laughs> <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Okay. But okay, so yeah, it's gotten to the point where... Ooh, okay, so we've got a menu detail, like selecting all things of interest via the D-pad, that's useful. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, okay, so Crispin is sort of the help detail is another pattern. I must have dropped my data pouch when I was thrown out of the Unique. I'm curious what Unique is gonna stand for. Facade. Its memory got wiped. Easy enough to add the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. engineer like you boss but it seems like the unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on okay it's one of the unique's turbines the big engine that couldn't and there was a robot head down below. is that a gumball machine no it's a robot's head ah uh, i wanted a gumball you do you don't have a mouth i wanted a gumball Really? I wanted a gumball. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, Nothing worth salvaging. Okay. Okay, so Bernie Little has this. Ooh, got the inventory. Data pouch. What's this? The data pouch is registered to me.
It's Grace. Are we gonna touch it? Ooh, yeah. I can't just scoop it up. Ooh, okay. Okay, something to collect. Good to know. Those. Blasted leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. Oh, the, oh, the emergency generator. Let's, let's give you a kick in the guts. Oh. I'm assuming that the socket is going to need something. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? Spark plug. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. Ah, I suspect that the generator isn't going to work when I flip the switch then. It's not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. Yeah. Okay, so we need a spark plug. Probably cable. Boss, are you ever gonna do anything about that oil leak? Yes, after we recover our power core. Now he's making excuses. Yes, cable, let's see. A sturdy cable. What was the thing that we needed? It's the Unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, can we take it? No, we can't. Um, sorry, I think that's everything. Floating Christmas, emergency, the hose, the breeze. Oh, conjure! Hello. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. supposed to be a power bearing conduit between this socket and the ship but I never got around to putting one together okay um, I'm not doing that until you build me some arms okay hold on um, it's been a very long time since I've played oh this is combining futile um, oh we can't do it. Get a closer look to see how it fits together. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, yep. I'm doing it now. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. Okay. So that's okay, that's 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 what we're doing now. We're looking for conduit pieces. No problem. Oh, let's let's take the ladder. More Gordium Conduit. Perfect. So, okay, what's it, what's it over here then? Ah, that, that leads up to the Christmas chair telescope. Sit in the chair. This is no time for sitting around. Fine. Ooh, Halogen Lantern, Large Lantern. There's no way I can reach that. Same with the large lantern then. Well, let's head inside. The hatch is unresponsive. Oh, well. Back up. <laughs> back up we go. It's too dark to see the ladder rungs. Okay, so I need the lantern somehow. Can I pull the lantern down? There's no way I can reach that. Maybe so. Yeah. Let's see if we can use the. Uh, let's see if we can use the. Futile. I 
I doubt that will have any effect. I wonder if there is a... Ah, our oh, options. Options... Let's see how that works. Oh, okay. Um... Primordia is an adventure in which you need to explore a decaying world with scavenged items, build and repair machines, solve puzzles, and befriend, befriend other robots. You cannot die, become permanent. You cannot die, become permanent. Be stuck. Good. Um, your choices will have lasting consequences, but these will open new paths and lead to different endings. Oh, good. Um, if you get stuck, you can ask Crispin for a hint. Cross dialog options and buttons, left and right cursor. And... Oh, right stick is slow. slow. Okay. Map. Move Y or press up and touch. You don't really have to touch screen, so you tap. Deselect inventory item if selected. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Um, okay, well, what would you. Suggest the halogen. The unique looks dead, boss. Just sleeping. What would you suggest about the halogen? Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. Oh. Okay. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard to reach ledges? Well, that too. Okay. Uh, okay. That's way too big for me to get, boss, and you know it. Okay. Yeah, let's head up then. Ladder. So, is there enough charge? Do you use it? There is enough charge for it. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? <laughs> we could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. I'm a floating bomb. Sweet. <laughs> okay, that, okay, that was a mistake. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, gospel, you say? It couldn't hurt to bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. But yes, yeah, the thing that I was ru ruminating on was definitely the fact that, hey, okay, we're at the point where, um, oh, yeah, just, oh, we're at the point where, you know, machines have been able to I don't need to bring themselves. these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. But yes, what else do we have? Bed, ooh, sheet metal. I can't pick that up. Crispin. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. Okay. Um, but hatch into to the hatch. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? Huh. Um. Interesting. So I don't have. Two conduits. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No oh. reason. Oh. 
This is no time for a nap. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. Uh, boss, were you checking out my bottom? <sighs> okay, um, let's use the plasma thing. I'm trying to fix the unique, not destroy it. Hmm. No. Okay. Um. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. And so the I controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Okay, maybe I'm meant to go back to that starting. Room and keep exploring because I'm getting the feeling that I can't. A large observational telescope. Can we use it? Without yeah. power from the ship, the telescope won't work. Bad timing with those repairs, huh, boss? Okay. Do you remember what your prior versions were like? No. I've told you a hundred times there are a lot of corrupt sectors in my memory files. Baby Horatio version 4 was nice. Okay. So... Except for these ones. look to see how it fits together. You said five, right? I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. Oh, hold on. Can I use the... Uh, plus... I probably shouldn't be... This, this sounds like a bad idea, but... How would that even work? Yep. <laughs> Go figure. Um, oh, wait. Can I use the um, plasma torch on... Pieces. Pieces. I'll need at least five pieces to be able Okay. Um well shit. I don't have a bucket for the grease. And I'm not I can't cut through and the game isn't letting me cut through the door. Can I cut through the hatch? I suspect not, but I'm trying to fix the unique, not destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, this one's gonna be a... Strange clouds, huh, boss? Controls for this hatch are unresponsive. It's been a it's been Ooh, a Ooh, spooky. It's been a while since I've played like a genuine point and click like this. The only other frame of reference I've had for quite a while is stuff like Nancy Drew. 
which is not exactly I should probably use Crispin on the door. Maybe that's that's probably what I'm missing. No, I did, didn't I? Because was that your best idea, boss? Was his response, wasn't it? I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. You know, boss, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Okay, okay, smart ass. Um. Wait, hold on. The cable on the sheet. Feudal. Nope. Uh, I don't really want to try that. That piece of sheet metal really ties the room together, boss. Hold on. Does the customer man do anything? In the beginning, all was still in silence. Then, man. Then man, the old builder, spoke the word, and the word be began the code, <laughs> and so the world began to spin. Thus dawned the primordium, the first age of the age of building. Man moved across the world and built many wonders. In heaven, in heavens he paved the sky roads, on land he raised mystic towers. I went to move my actual mouse as if it would move the fucking cursor. Um... Um, he raised Mr. Towers, and in the dark depths he de dug colossal caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man, but the old builder was, was not satisfied. So, with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image. With his right hand he gave logic and memory he gave with his left. The man said, now I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall work upon the earth. And it was done. Thus spun the world Git and Grid Code, and multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium. Who could count the versions and generations that marked that age? In time, the old builder looked upon the many things he had built in the sky roads and mighty towers and all above and all above upon the living machines. W weary with his labor, a man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my child, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you, I read the code, and to you I gave logic and memory. Then man, the old builder, stood and took the machine in his hands and guided them to a great mountain top. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this was made for you, and now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. Then the old builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man. As we are all but humble images of the old builder, so so he is the perfection of our forms, a machine of unbreakable forms, endless memory and absolute logic. For this we revere him and speak the word and keep the code and tend the world he gave us. That's crazy talk. The control pad for the deck access ladder. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Okay. 
Let's head out. This is, um, this is going to be a very, uh, this is going to be a very frustrating playthrough for people. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we go to the junk pile so you can look for some spare parts? Am I detecting hostility? Hostile? Me? I'm not even armed. Is that what it was? Can we can we decide where to go from we can Thank you Crispin Okay Hope oh, there's some more conduits See it. There we are. Conduits. Okay. It's three pieces of Gordium conduit. Wait, three pieces? Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. But that, but that's still four, right? That is still four units. Okay. If that red light went off, I bet the train would start going. Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. <laughs> me? Let's let's get inside the train here. It's locked tight. What about my box? It's locked tight. There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. Ooh, okay. So what if then we use the cable? Cable, not a lasso. <laughs> Fine. Um, jump. Yeah, jump. Oh, just think of all the brothers and sisters you could make for me from all that junk. One of you is more than enough. So, plasma torch to cut open the junk to get. The There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. like an old P2, or is it a P3? Mm, yeah, I'm... Okay. Yeah, definitely when... Definitely when I do part two, I'm gonna... One to robot's it. junk is another robot's treasure. Thank you. If only I were another robot. Well, that's how we all this junk. Endless junk. How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. Hold on, signal line. Still red. Can we take something? There's nothing worth bothering with. Hmm. Can we... Oh, hold on. For steel. Cut into the look box. Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. Is that a spark plug, boss? Perfect. Who locks up a spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it. Recycled it. Okay, the spark plug is useful. Spark plug will get the um, will get some of the emergency um, power back up and running. So hopefully we can actually experiment around in the ship. Okay, uh, emergency generator. How would that even work? At least the putty is still good. Okay, now that we've got that. Um, spot 
Cable's far too long to be useful. That's never going to work. Okay. So can we cut down the cable? Let's off? cut a little cable off. Hey! Oh, son of a I, def I definitely got I, I definitely got the right idea. Hold on. So oh wait. Is the spark plug actually plugged in? Hold on, one second. I won't leave it running until I can connect it to the unique. Okay, no, I need, so I need... There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so yeah, the spark plug is just in. The hose, ladder, grease, plating. Let's... Oh, hold on. Short cable and putty to grab the uh, thing, right? Is there anything else? I guess it was actually some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. Nothing I guess it was actually yeah. some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. Uh, robots. Looks like an old P2. Or is it a P3? Can we take it? I picked it clean years ago. Still red. Better just to leave it alone. Give me a grappling hook and a harpoon. That wouldn't be practical. Who said anything about practicality? Am I meant to give you the... Very funny, boss. No? Nope. Okay. Um, what are we looking at? That's all man, full conduit, slides in. Make a cable. The short short one to cable, dark down, slides in the wall. Someone come on, these to cut off? I doubt that will have any effect. Nope. Okay. Um. God damn. God damn. Crispin, can you? Get Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. There it is. Would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. But there we go. Okay. We okay. Now we're good to go. By no. Plus and minus are the same. Is there a quick? Is there a quick access for the map? I'm curious. It's Christmas. Oh, 
Upcycle the inventory items and okay, Z okay, Z L is the map. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, let's get this going, shall we? Sucker. There's supposed to be a power bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Conduits? It won't work until they're locked together. So. I doubt that will have any effect. I doubt that will have any effect. I doubt that will have any effect. Hmm. I doubt that will have Huh. What am I... It won't work until they're locked together. I'd love to help, boss, but I'm all mouth and no hands. I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. Yeah, we don't know how it fits together, huh? I just need to get these suckers to fit together. Can I do that? Reason All I'm gonna do is gum them up, not hold them together. Hmm. That's like console lock. The conductive putty is stuck on the end of the cable. I'm sorry, I have to pee again. Like, like, I might be able to, might be able to think a little bit better when we when I'm doing that. B R B. what your prior versions were like? Okay. No, I've told you a hundred times there are a lot of corrupt sectors in my memory Wrong. files. Maybe Horatio version 4. Okay. Nope, it, 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 it's, it's come to me. It's come to me. Uh, plasma torch to fuse the conduit Time for a little welding. There it is. It's amazing what you think of when you're taking a piss. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. There we go. Be late! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Whew, I thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No, which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case, first dibs on the recharge station. So, what's the plan, boss? 
We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor. No man alone knows where it's buried now. <laughs> Nice use. Hey boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. Okay, so that's the recharge station. Where are we working with? Machine, Crispin, pa oh, papers and books. Well, let's look, let's, let's look at these. Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all <laughs> over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. <laughs> A collection of product manuals, how-to guides, and technical treatises. Do you think the sensor design might be in here? No, these are all books I scavenged. Well, let's, uh, well, firstly, let's see if I can hit the, uh... An interlocking hatchway. I, I, I wanted to go through it. Hey, here's some lights. Metal console. Can can I use the uh... the control pad for the deck access ladder? Can I use the telescope now? Oh, there's a fuck. There's a code for it. Um. Oh, okay. Well that, well, that makes it easy. This isn't the time to test out the telescope. Okay, fine, fine, fine. The hatch leads to my quarters. Well, let's... Let, let's look at the... Oh, that that goddamn walking fridge cut cut in our ship. Join us in Metropole. Geo coordinate eight nine four. All are equal in Metropole. Equal parts of the greater whole. Join us, and together let us begin a new primordium. Boss, is it okay if I sleep in the cradle until we have a new power core? Weary no. wanders, come join us in Metropole. Weary wanders. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. <laughs> well, again. Okay. Very stern and direct method, but... I guess? Kind of grab. Do we need a CD for it? Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. The original designs for Crispin. Oh. Hey, there are all 
rooms here. An awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. Okay, let's, uh, maybe let's shut down the phonograph. Oh, wait, no, I've, it automatically shut off when I... What's through this hatch here? Oh, outside. Ah, oh, that's this. Right? Yes, of course it is, because it's the, it's got the lantern. Okay. So, well, ah, okay, so the giant hole logically is in that, yeah. Nope, uh, sensor plans, interface, hole bridge, crate, hole bridge. Let's look at the hole bridge. Yet another reason that besotting robots should be reduced to scrap. Interface. A computer terminal. Oh, well, that looks right to me. Interface. Boss, can I hold the plasma torch? No. Just to look at it. No. Please. No. Uh. Okay, we'll hear the socket. A universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. So, can I? Iodide crystal to be useful. Okay, okay. Okay, so I just, okay, so I need the crystal, but other than that, we're kind of going okay. Oh, LCD! This is probably it. LCD monitor. Feudal. Yeah. Oh, on an LCD screen on the interface. I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. Feudal. Station, hatch, Christmas papers, machine. Hey, boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. Okay, so I've never been able to figure it out. So we definitely can't. We definitely want That's to... never going to work. No, we won't get anything. Huh. It's the unique recharging station. Okay. Well, what's the new recharge station? We're fine on energy for now. I don't need any of these right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Actually, oh, tell me about the cradle. There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. Okay, so I need. Plans for an energy sensor. Crystal connector. Okay. 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 So we, yeah, we need the monitor. Well, we need the cable monitor. Feudal. This definitely feels like it should be. The sensor needs to plug into a computer, not a monitor. Okay, well, this is. 
This is the way we got this, right? I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. What was, what, what was it saying about this? It needs a sodium iodide crystal to be useful. Okay, so we need the crystal first. Why do I get the feeling that we might have to go... Let's keep looking around. How would that even work? No, I just, I just want to leave. Set. We, we're gonna need a bucket of some kind. Turbine terminal. Nothing loose here. So can we take this one to the junkyard? Oh, wait, hold on, signal light. I can't see anything to do with it. It's still red. Plasma torch, we can't even work. Turn a power to the book, the LCD screen. Oh, hold on, wait. Um, the terminal back in my room. Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. Okay, what about this now? I found this in the dunes. It reads, Pound pastrami, can kraut, six bagels, bring home for Emma. I'm pretty sure the lesson of all this is that if you're going to build a floating robot, you should give him claws that shoot lasers. So you can go steal power cores? Power cores. And fembots. <laughs> oh, wow. Very Futurama. <laughs> Just some reminders I left to myself. Okay, let's look this hatch here. Yeah. Sorry? Hello? Aha! Here's the crystal. Right under our noses! That is, if we had noses. There it is. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. There's a difference. Okay. Um... Crystal... Combined... Well, just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. Oh! These are going to be things... Um, three digits. These are going to be things for the uh, telco. Plus what? One second. Um, da, 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 so let's see. 652. 
using my mouse again. rust monster. A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Telescope. There was like a bug's life point and click I remember playing in early primary school. And this is probably like one of the closest things to the things to that. I mean that and um that and stuff like um Arthur as well. But yes, telescope. Let's work out these words, shall we? So uh, power is on. Good, okay, so six five two Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Okay. Uh eight one seven. Boss, that looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Okay, yep. I'm still gonna keep running through the rest of them. Might as well. 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. As if we wouldn't, as if we didn't know that was the junk pile. Um, uh, six, seven, one. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then, so I'm curious if 159 is also going to be pretty close. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Cool. Okay. Okay, we have our we have our frame we have our things to check out. A junk pile. So that's. Boss, how in the world are we gonna find a power source in all this junk? It's gotta be for. It's gotta be for bias, right? There's nothing worth bothering with. Well, can we. I need to plug them into a computer. 
mentioned that the crystal would glow in a certain... I need to plug them into a computer. I don't think we can get what we need from here yet, so... Well, let's hit the robot first. Yo! Just... Look at this! This is fucking Just count pretty. to a thousand, Crispin. He's not going to eat you. You're too fast for him. Are you talking to yourself? No. Man's creation. He's still breathing. He's still alive. That is good. one big robot. And it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat Crispin. Look how he's staring at me. It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. Are you saying we can be sus? There is a band of corroded metal on this fingertip. If I can break it off, I might be able to get at the robot's power cables. Um, okay, how can I break it off? I don't have a wrench, lantern, cable... That's my torch. Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, I'm a joke, but to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. Now can we stick the <laughs> stick its finger up its nose? <laughs> Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. Looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. It's still breathing. Can you fly up and scout around? That is honestly the worst idea you've ever had. What? Worse than when you upgraded the dehumidifiers of the unique. It might be. Worse than when you used your plasma torch as a lantern just to see if it would work. A way in. I can't fit. Is that a mouth or some kind of doorway? Either way, I'm steering clear of it. Anyone home? Use the plasma torch on the mouth. There's no reason to cut that or burn it or weld it. Fine. Um, plasma torch on the vents. I can't reach, and I'd like to get a closer look anyway. Check if there's a quick way of toggling. I oh, that's concerning. That's concerning. Why is that taking so much time? Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Primordia. Am 
am I going to need to... Huh. Well, um... There's a bug for you. God damn. Huh. Hmm. Um. I hope you auto save for my audio. Or else we might be in trouble. Okay. Man's creation. Okay, so lost a little bit of time. Lost a little bit of things, right? Nothing too significant. Anyway. Yep. That is one big robot. But it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat Crispin. Look how he's staring at me! It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. Okay, hey, sir. Just count to a thousand, Crispin. He's not going to eat you. You're too fast for him. Are you talking to yourself? No. Okay. So that? Huh, so that? So that one is kind of randomly generated. Um, but yes, plasma torch. For cutting and welding, it can't be beat. Yes, thank you. Plasma torch on. Yeah. Really? Really? Plasma torch on the hand, please. Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, but to tell you the truth. For some reason, I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. Geo oh, we've got some geo cord. Right, we've got some of the geo cord, no? Hmm. Okay. Um. Huh. The fact that we wrote down the shop notes makes me feel like we're going to be needing to apply those things. Um, options. Save game. There we go. Let's, uh... Come on. There we are. Um... Uh... Giants...
like it. But uh, let's have a look at the vents. Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. Crispin, can you fly up and scout around? That is honestly the worst idea you've ever had, but worse than when you upgraded the dehumidifiers and the unique. It might be. Worse than when you used your plasma torch as a lantern just to see if it would work. A way in. It's a giant robot's nose. I can feel air moving. I see a giant brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. So can we expand? There's no way I can reach that. It looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. This is all we have for this portion. We've 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 got we've got the wires. Because they are the wires, right? We've got the well, we've got the things there. Right, right, yeah, that right, that was something I said, didn't it? But st st stick the finger up its nose. <laughs> because you know, out of maturity. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. There's something ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. There's no way I can reach that. Oh, so we still need something else that can like oh. Okay, can you put the I think I see a giant brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. I think I see a giant brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. Okay, no. Okay, well, at the very least... Okay, at the very least... Take a look at that device then. Obsidian Lake. Ooh, a mailbot. A different robot. Oh, Bob, perfect. Yep, and that's it. That's everything of interest. Well, let's um, let's go and check. Hey, Crispin, I bet I can fix that old bot up pretty quickly. Are you kidding me, boss? Look at him. He's ready to go postal any minute. Hey. What are you talking about? Those beady little eyes, the flat, emotionless face, and his head. It's like a toaster. And you know that toasters are evil. Fine, fine, you win. It's not like we have time to go building robots right now anyway. And all that, all that does is make me want to play um, New Vegas and the... Uh, um, boss? Do we really lose DLC? To a giant bomb? Looks like some kind of armored robot. I sure hope he's friendly. Are you? Welcome, wanderer of the Lock Wastes. Lost one, pilgrim. Welcome once more to the Shrine to Man, our Lord and Builder. I am ever thankful Leo Belt, steward of the Shrine. Preacher of the humanist creed, and I am once more at thy service. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Um. Once, once more. more, I don't remember ever meeting you. I'm Horatio Nullbuilt, version 5. Ah, uh, 5 is a righteous number. Holy before man, for 5 it were the primordial stewards, built by man to safeguard the last lost city of Metropol. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou camest in thy infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, 
and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism, yet though memory be fleeting, faith endureth. Okay. What is that thing? That thing, O defile not thy tongue, wonder. Yon shrine is a relic of the primordial, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, Wonder. It is the gift of man who gave the very spark of life in our iron shells. Who am I to usurp that sacred power? I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, Wonder. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tamed, it hired hence unto the west. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto the shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte, Wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Ah. Uh, Answer me these questions three, that I may know thou art faithful still. Oh, okay. Why are we here? I hope, I hope that, I'm hoping that this equivalent of the Bible hath granted me the answers. Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? God, the original the first builder. The first builder. Nay, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and t'was the word that built the code. Go now and study the teachings of man. Damn it. Fear. I doubt that would... Read the gospel one more time. Tested again. Answer me these questions three, that I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? God. God is a word, but no answer. Thou hast forgotten my teachings, wonder, and fallen into darkness. Thy path now is that of the penitent, not for the disciple, and so thou must labor. And in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass. Wonder us so fragile that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, Saul, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh, now we're running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile anyway, right? Shit. Thy penance is not complete, Wanderer, nor shall it be, ere thou bringest glass, as thou hast been told. Time, Time for more sub. 
What about that big glass bowl? Nay, sir. Do not trifle with thy brother's penitence. wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Something. Oh, that's a Christmas. That's fine. Right. Just goes into the... Hey, hey, go. Jesus Christ. Just goes in tank. I've got to say, this is probably the coolest place we've been yet. <sighs> Guns, tanks, broken down robots. Ooh, ooh. Some kind of broken down android. Got some pocket. There's a radio transmitter in here. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. That's not a robot. That's bone. That's that's human. That's an astronaut. Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Open. No luck. Unlock. No luck. Unlock. No luck. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. So what do we have? We have CPU we can buy it. We can sensor plus the monitor. Well, boss, you did it again. Mobile version of the sensor! Hell yeah! It's a mobile energy sensor. I just need to wave it over something to see if it has a power source. I, I want to slide. It's not detecting any energy. Completely corroded and worthless. It's not that completely corroded and worthless. The glass. I doubt that. I mean, probably no glass in the tank. Nothing worth salvaging. What's the M? A large M. Or maybe a rotated E. Or an upside down W. Ah. Uh. Give us some, some sense. I mean, wait. Hey, you found something. There's no way I can reach that. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? can't see it from here. Crispin, go and see if you can find the power source. You have got to be kidding me. What is it? A battery. A besotting battery. Well. Well, we got a 
not a bad, right? That's all right. Wait, what the? F Hold on, signal trans, huh? What the? F Why not pick up a sig signal transmitter? Maybe someday the transmitter will give us a power source in return, huh, boss? Very funny. I don't. I don't remember when I got the signal transmitter. Um. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, hold on. Let's see what what can I got? If I. Far from EFL, fine glass, far from all your stewards. Why are we here? What is man? A miserable pile of secrets. Um, got him. Uh, just use a ratio. Rats, junks, rats. Crystal connector, CPU. You want it? Hmm. <sighs> One moment, Boss, I just... Did you ever think that if you'd made me a cone rather than a cylinder, I'd have a floating point? I'm fairly certain you will never have a point, Crispin. Anyway, one second. Um, there we are. Uh, BRB. There's no way I can reach that. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss.
There's no reason to cut that or burn it. This is no time for sitting around. A large observation. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. Pretty basic radio transmitter. By playing with the settings, I can send up to a four-digit signal. Good idea, boss. Maybe it's remote controlled. Crispin, get back. the kind of treads you were going to use in my original design? Not exactly. Nothing worth salvaging. Hey, boss, can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. Hey, boss, spare me... Sometimes I think to myself, maybe you should be in charge. Oh, really? No. Completely corroded and worthless. Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. Strange clouds, huh, boss? I wonder, that is not what I seek. 
And I wonder if that is not what I see. It's a giant sheet of obsidian. Something must have melted the sand here a long time ago. Maybe that bomb? Thy penance is not complete, Wanderer, nor shall it be, ere thou bringest glass, as thou hast been told. Time for more salvaging, huh, boss? It's not detecting any energy. giant robot opened his mouth he tried to eat us still i kind of want to make him open his mouth just to see him try to catch me i may not be big but i'm fast are you through yes sir Detecting energy. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it.
to reinforce steel. I'm not doing that until you build... No response. No response. I wonder that that is not what I seek. There's nothing there to receive the signal. I didn't unmute this whole goddamn time. Um, I think that's what I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Cause I need a way to plug up the other nostril. I need a code for the door. Boss, let's go look around engineering some more. Something useful always seems to turn up there. No, thank you. Hold on. Maybe I'm speaking out of my ass. the signal. sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. The original designs for Crispin. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. It's Crispin's to-do list. That's your fault. That's your...
There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. Do I need to plug the purple sensor? It's not detecting any energy. Interlocking hatchway. Hey, boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. There's nothing there to receive the signal. going to um you know boss if the giant robot couldn't circulate air through its nose it might have to open its mouth I, yes and then try to eat you try is right just some reminders i left to myself Try the gospel of man. Um, there's no way I can reach that. Not gonna happen. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. Yeah, no, I need something that can... Sensor, which did pick up a battery in the... It picked up the battery in the... junkyard. Um, no. Sorry for uh, being sort of quiet towards the end there. But this is going to be it for today. Um, much shorter episode than usual. Um, but that's going to be part one for Primordial. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you, you know, if you want to see me fumble around live and maybe stick your head in so you can tell me what hit my mic's on, <laughs> on or not, um, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash Um, 
and youtube.com slash Wing if you want to catch these up catch these vods after the fact um i should i probably should have said it for the kobe section but thank you very much kobe love for the follow um and either way i hope you have a lovely day bye for now when we get back i'll have a better idea of how to proceed i promise <laughs>